Thanks. The battle continues over who actually owns the painting separatists bringing in sheep. The family who claims that painting belongs to them came all the way from France to stake their claim. KOCO's Bree Steffen spoke with that family who is not ready to give up just yet. It's an international tug of war all over this more than century old painting stolen by Nazis during World War II. Today it hangs in the University of Oklahoma's Art Museum, but now a family from France is suing the university, claiming to be the rightful owners. The moral thing to do, I think the other institutions have already responded. It's to send back the, the artwork. A painting like this would usually go for half a million to a million dollars. However, with all the controversy and publicity, it's made the price skyrocket. Now this is a multi-million dollar piece of art. But the family says it's not about the money. It's about uh, trying to get a sense of justice uh, for uh, what was done to my mother's family uh, 70 years ago. Raphael Mayer traveled from France to be at the hearing Monday morning. His mother, Leon, now 75 years old, was just a girl when Nazis looted the painting from her family. This weekend, he got his first in-person look at the painting. It was very emotional to visit the, the museum yesterday. Um, it's, let's put it this way, it's less difficult for me than it is for my mother. As the case moves on, Raphael prays after decades of loss, his family will finally have some of those damages restored. And the family also claims that at least five other paintings were stolen from them during that same time period. So far, though, no luck on tracking those other ones down. Reporting live at the Capitol, Bree Steffen, KOCO 5 News. Thank you, Bree.